Check out these doing good snippets about the incredible things God can do when we work together. The amazing men and women in Alameda County have been making a huge difference in their community. Deltrina Johnson has been volunteering with the Oak Center and distributing at least a few hundred meals a week to families in need. Deltrina, Bill, and Cassie Thomas, along with Cornelia Banks, collected toys for the Defermary Community Center and for families in need in the church. Diane Woon gave out meals to senior citizens and even helped translate for the Chinese community. So they knew where to get services. Alicia Edgerson collected donations to put together beautiful baskets of much needed items for single parents in Alameda County. And Florence Erickson's Oakland Food Works has served over 3,800 holiday meals and distributed about 400 toys to underprivileged families this holiday season. While kids are on winter break from school, eHoops SF and players from the USF men's and women's basketball team volunteer to host eHoops virtually. eHoops Online allows kids and families with special needs to experience inclusion while sheltering in place at home. Over in Silicon Valley, we've been inspired by the Hofstetter's House Church. For years, they have partnered with City Team to serve the homeless in San Francisco's Tenderloin District. The Hofstetter's, Gajewski's, Mary Beth Eady, and their friends were one of the only groups to continue to serve when the pandemic hit. Just before Christmas, Donna Carey Hofstetter found items on Facebook that someone else was giving away. She asked if she could donate these items to the homeless. The woman agreed and without Donna Carey knowing, also reposted Donna Carey's request. 500 people responded with items to contribute. People began dropping off socks, clothing, and supplies at Donna Carey's house. Neighbors walked by and dropped off supplies too. The week before Christmas, the Hofstetters and their friends delivered three U-Haul trucks full of supplies to San Francisco's homeless. And finally, we have an incredible story about how many of you came together to take care of healthcare workers during the holiday season. The weekend before Christmas, Gail Yule was tagged in a Facebook group called Adopt a Healthcare Worker. Gail adopted 20 workers on the front lines of the pandemic and sent out messages to her friends asking for donations to make them Christmas care packages. Within 48 hours, donations poured in from all over the Bay Area. Gail and her crew of teen helpers sent out 31 care packages to healthcare workers across the country with a card from the B. ACC expressing how much we appreciated them. I love my profession and to know that it's appreciated just makes it more gratifying. Thank you. Mine came clear to Nebraska from them. Truly a wonderful church to send out so many wonderful gifts. I came home from a very exhausting eight day work week to a glorious and heartfelt care package. It was just what I needed to brighten my day. Thank you to my friends at the Bay Area Christian Church. When I came home from work, I saw a package at my door. To my surprise, it was a package from Bay Area Christian Church, Palo Alto, California. When I opened it and read the card, it brought me to tears. All we ask for is to be appreciated. And for this to be sent all the way to Mississippi just for me has brought joy to my heart. After all these care packages were in the mail, donations from the members of the church kept pouring in. The Colette family and their house church made 25 more care packages from these donations and they made them for the staff of the Livermore Nursing Home. Members of the church in Alameda County donated money and items so they put together Christmas bags for workers at the Ridge Acute Rehab Nursing Home. The impact that God has made through each of us doing good in our local communities in our own creative way is staggering. Doing good is not about being a member of an organization. Doing good is who we are. We're so grateful for each of you and the amazing and unique ways you've done so much good this year. We can't wait to see what God does through the church in 2021.